We got an AI robot horse before GTA 6. And I'm not making this up. When Henry Ford built a car, he had said, and we are quoting him, if I had asked people what they wanted, they would have said a faster horse. Well, Japan clapped back because Kawasaki actually built the faster horse. They introduced Corleo, a hydrogen-powered, AI-steered, four-legged robotic beast that can run, climb, and jump like it just escaped a cyberpunk rodeo. It doesn't poop, doesn't eat, it just gallops on clean hydrogen and pure imagination. And here's the kicker. This is not even an April Fool's joke. Let's tell you exactly what happened. Kawasaki unveiled Corleo, a two-seater robotic horse at the Osaka Kanzai Expo preview. It's part concept, but part prototype already. And let me tell you, it's 100% wild. Corleo is designed to read your body movements. It can navigate through terrain using AI vision. And yes, it can potentially gallop at 80 km per hour while you hold on to a floating seat. There's even a tiny dashboard and a windscreen as well, because why not? But here's the twist. Most of the videos that you've seen, the ones that we've used even till now, CGI. The actual robot exists, but it currently just stands and poses. So in the final product, these six crazy features are promised. And that's what makes Corleo so insane. So let's tell you those. Hydrogen powered, zero emissions, and it outputs clean water. It's got AI vision to analyze terrain in real time. It has adjustable stirrups and a floating seat for not one, but two people. And it's also got rubber grip hooves for rocky terrain, a full colored cockpit dashboard, and it uses body control. No steering wheel, no joystick. I mean, it's like Shadowfax met Boston Dynamics and then got an upgrade. So is it actually real or all CGI? Let's clear the air. Yes, there is a physical prototype, which was demonstrated on stage as well. But no, that doesn't leap across cliffs or carry riders yet. Kawasaki confirms that Corleo is a vision for 2050. So a long way to go still. The footage, as we told you, CGI concept art. The tech still under development. But even as a concept, it signals Japan's ambition to lead the AI mobility revolution. So why does this matter now? And does this matter at all? Does. Because this is not just a quirky showpiece. Polio hints at a new category. Ride on AI quadrupeds for extreme terrain. Just think, disaster zones where wheels can't go, defense missions in mountainous regions, AI-powered mobility in rural or rugged areas. Xpeng already launched a robot unicorn for kids in Thailand. And that's why Corleo could be the adult version built for action. Fuel of the future? Well, Corleo runs on hydrogen, not batteries. And that matters and matters a lot. Hydrogen is clean, lightweight, and packs more punch than electric batteries, especially in tough terrains with long run times. Its only byproduct? Water possibly chilled if Kawasaki's cheeky comment is to be believed. What are the experts saying about this? Critics like Robert or Nixon called it 100% CGI. And well, they're not wrong. But they also admit that it's a badass idea. New Atlas called it perhaps the most outrageous concept vehicle ever made. And Kawasaki, they're leaning into the absurd almost, suggesting it might one day help win the robot wars. So the bottom line is that Corleo is not ready to hit the trail yet. I mean, obviously, there's a long way to go. But it's more than just a meme. It's a vision of how AI, robotics, clean energy could redefine personal mobility in the years and decades ahead. If it works, it could spawn a new industry, literally. If not, I mean, it's still one of the coolest fever dreams ever rendered. And hey, no manure to clean up. So yeah, Polio can't replace your car yet or even your horse, but it could inspire the next wave of AI-powered, clean energy mobility, especially in countries like India where rugged terrain still challenges last mile transport. So what do you think? CGI clickbait or future tech that we'll ride by 2035? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And yes, a hypothetical question. If you could actually ride Corleo, would you want to? Would you want to ride Corleo more than an actual very pretty looking horse? Tell us in the comments. And of course, share this video with a fellow tech and AI enthusiast just like you, just like me. Subscribe to AIM TV for more things AI. Think AI, think AIM.